Hi everyone! Hey, I wanted to pop on tonight and share with you a couple of folios that I finished up today. Um, being on the design team for Country Craft Creations, um, I do um, at least one mini album or folio type of a project a month. And um, when I walk everybody through the tutorial, um, the construction of the pages, etc., I don't actually do the matting. Um, on camera so what I was finding was I had a lot of these books that are laying around naked <laughs> like they're all constructed ready to go but they weren't um, decorated so I decided to go ahead with two of them um, I made we'll just start with the small one first this one I made it just says Jatem on it um, with the little Eiffel Tower. This is from the Julie, Julie Netting collection. It was called French Flea Market. It was probably out about a year or so ago. Um, so you probably won't be able to find the paper line, but um, the original paper line I used was, my original project was this cute little gymnastics folio. You can see they're exactly the same, the same size. Um, the only difference is the paper. Uh, and I put a little um, rubber bandy type closure on this one to hold it shut. I use magnets on this one. So um, you can go ahead. I think I called this um, I'm a Gymnast, I think. Uh, you can find that in the archives of my videos um, on my YouTube channel. So this, again, I have the elastic closure. There's the spine. You can't really tell. My light is just way too bright. So open it up. That's the inside front cover. I used a lot of the stickers that came in the collection. This is one of the cut apart tags and some of the die cuts. I love this paper. It's just, it's just so pretty with the ivory and the red and the pink and then that splash of blue. It's just gorgeous. So you open it up. Again, here on the right inside cover is a pocket. Actually, there's two pockets. And I just made from one of the cut aparts. It says, Paris is always a good idea. And I agree. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's one of the four by sixes. And you can see here's another one of the die cuts. <coughs> oh, excuse me. They live right there in that pocket. Then I have a larger um, I make this a tag? Yeah, I just made this a tag. And it says, a happy memory is a hiding place for forgotten treasures. Um, this is a little piece of the pattern paper, and this is one of the um, die cuts that was in the pack. And then over here in the center, I just made, this one is a pocket flap, and you say it says, hello gorgeous. I put a sticker there. And then this paper is incredible. Oh, I wish you could see it better. Um, these little blue and white polka dotted umbrellas and some flowers, some butterflies, a little hat on a hat stand. Um, then here is the little tag that lives inside there. That's the back. Just one of the die cuts says beautiful day. And then I have a flap. And I just took another one of the die cuts. Um, it says, Rum on my love down life's long road. Be lost and found a thousand times before we meet again. And then here is just one of the, uh, another one of the cut aparts. It says, today will be a most amazing day. And then I took the cute little hat that's on the stand. Just look, and use some seam binding that's in my stash. And here is the back page, and it says, Good Shoes Take You Places. Again, another thing I agree with. And then I put a little shoe sticker on there. So then we scoot over to the center left side. Um, I love this bicycle. Love it, love it, love it. And then this says, Love This. So again, this just mirrors the, the opposite side. Um, there is a another tag. This little banner was the actual, uh, you know, you get those little banners, uh, borders on the sticker sheet. I just wrapped it around. 
So you can see it's, it's got a teapot, a clock, an umbrella, a birdcage, some gloves, a hat, and then it just repeats. So I just put that right inside there, lives in there. There's the back, there's that pretty paper again. This is just a really pretty, I think this is called Twall, I think. Uh, it's really pretty black and gray and white with a little love banner and then a butterfly sticker. That's the back page. It has the little bingo cards and I just added um, one of the little banner die cuts. Oh no, that's a sticker. Yeah, that's a sticker. So the center, you can see, has um, like a collage of all the, you know, the, um, what are those called? A dress form, some flowers, the bingo cards. Just love the colors. And then there's the back of the fat flap. Then you have this, and actually this, I just realized I did not put, this is a pocket, you can put a tag in there. I just didn't put a tag in. Then here is this flap. Um, there's also a pocket. There's a tag with a sticker just says so lovely. I made another um, little booklet that says Vintage and Fabulous. And then down here, there's my favorite little bicycle again. How cute is that? And then just another one of the little, little die cuts, and I just put it in there for a little tuck spot. I'm thinking I need to put one more thing back in there. So here's the inside. It says Bonjour, the inside of that tab. And this is left, oh, it would help if you could see it. <laughs> this is left open if you wanted to put a photo under there. Then inside here, there's a couple of pockets. There's the Paris um, bingo card. This one says, hello, gorgeous. And then there's two more, two more cut apart tags. And they just slide right in there. So this is a super easy, super quick project. Um, like I said, you can check it out. Oops, I think I did that wrong. You can check it out on my YouTube, here on my YouTube channel. I believe I called it, I'm a gymnast. Um, again, I don't think that this paper line is available any longer, but I could be wrong. Uh, it has to be at least a year old. So there's that one. And then real quickly, I'll walk you through this one. This is more of a fall themed. <clears throat> folio and this was the original one was my America the Beautiful um, this would have been my 4th of July project um, oops, I got some glue so I know for a fact that this is on my YouTube channel so and it's called America the Beautiful so you can follow the step-by-step -step tutorial there but so I had in my stash um, the Prima's collection called Amber Moon, I believe it's called. Yes, Amber Moon. Um, I think Frank Garcia designed it. So I know this is at least a year old, if not older. Um, I did get it from Country Craft Creations, and I also did get um, the French Flea Market from there. But like I said, neither one of these are probably available any longer. Um, but anyway, so... I wish I had had some white elastic. I don't have any more, so I had to use black. Um, I do have some on order, so whenever it does come in, I will change it out to make it white. Um, but here, I just took, this is actually vellum. Um, it says Thinkful, and it's, um, I guess you could say it's like an amber color, or a bronzy color. Um, it's on vellum, and I just put it on white cardstock, and I absolutely, hate to fussy cut. I can't stress how much I hate fussy cutting. I am the world's worst fussy cutter. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I think it's okay. Um, but this is one of the cut aparts, one of the uh, three by four cut aparts. And then um, this is one of the chipboards to thankful for this life. And then I just had like a orangey, ambery color bling. Um, in my stash. So again, I wanted to keep the cover simple. Um, I knew that I was going to have an elastic closure, so I didn't want to put flowers or anything on it that was going to get um, caught up. 
but I mean, just look at the pumpkins. They are, and the butterflies down here. This is just adorable. Okay, so you open it up. And just like the America the Beautiful, it has the two pockets on the, on the inside left cover. These are some of the four by six cut aparts. And I tap that right back in through there. Then this is the longer pocket that goes all the way to the bottom. It says grateful, some puffy stickers with a little puffy heart. And I just left these uh, blank. Again, that just slides right down in through there. This is the right side top flap. Um, I made this into a belly band. And this again is a, a vellum, I don't know, is vellum die cut? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it's printed and foiled and it says it's pumpkin season. Um, I just cut out a, a circle, punched out a circle and attached it to the circle um, just so it would stand out better. Uh, and this, these are two of the, well, this is one of the three by four cut aparts. It says pumpkin love. And this one says it's pumpkin season. That's funny. I love pumpkin season, but I do not like pumpkin. Hate it. Love the smell of it. Just hate it. <laughs> okay, so here is the inside right flap, top flap cover. Um, again, just made a little a little pocket. Um, forgot to decorate this, but this is some brown cardstock that I had laying around. Um, since we're here, we'll go here. So this first flap, there are... Yeah, there are two flaps, but this first one has uh, two smaller flaps and then some foiled stickers. And then here it says, I always fall for pumpkin spice, apples, s'mores, and you. And I love that, that little chipboard. Then inside here is a little goodie, a little booklet. It says, Count Our Blessings. Again, left it blank for all the photos and all the journaling you could ever want to do. And then on the back, this is a chipboard, foiled chipboard, says thanks. Love the striped paper. Then here is the second flap. Just made this into a little pocket page. And that little stick, that little chipboard says blessed. Um, inside there. There's another booklet, and it says Our Beautiful Life. Oh, did I make this a booklet? I did, but I put it on the wrong side. Look at that. <laughs> I will fix that. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Um, so then uh, here is on the other side of the that flap is a waterfall. It's a one, two, three, four. It's just a five page waterfall. Um, the little closure here has a, it just says heart you on it. And then these are five of the four by six journaling cards. Then I just put a foiled chipboard there that says love. Grateful. That's pretty. That says fall in love. Be thankful. And that this is another page, it's one of those banners pages that has a little um, snippet of each one of the pages. So I just love that. And it has a magnet holding that closed. So over here, we'll hop over here on the left hand side. This is a flap with a pocket. Um, that is a foiled, oh, there you go, the chipboard that says autumn is love. Two of the four by sixes. I just stash right inside there. This one um, this is kind of Halloween-y, but um, I think it works. And it says pumpkin. Then over here, this is one of the 3 by 4 cards with some pretty butterflies. It says blessed. I just turned it into an L-shaped pocket. And there's that it's pumpkin season um, 4 by 6 journal card again. Then inside here is another um, 
booklet. It really opens the right way this time. <laughs> and this, um, the little sticker, the little saying. That just pops right inside there, stores away. Um, let me see. Okay, then the back is this really pretty wood green, or the wood paper. Um, then this little 3 by 4 card says, Gratitude, crisp air, harvest, sweet home, pumpkins, leaves, sweater, counter blessings, etc., etc. Then this one says, Home, sweet home. I just made into a little booklet. And then there's a chipboard that says, Hello, Autumn. Then I have three little flaps. This with some puffy stickers. This one says, Give thanks. And then there's a leaf. Then there's a little coffee cup. Oh, and another coffee cup. <laughs> then there's a little chipboard down here that says, Crunchy leaves, crisp air, everything, pumpkin, and you. And then this is a little jar that says fall in love. These are chipboard stickers. And then the inside, oh, I forgot to put some tags in here. I don't know if you can see that, but this is actually a vellum or acetate. Sorry, this is acetate pocket. Um, I actually need to put some stickers, I mean some um, cut aparts in that pocket. And that flaps up. And there's room for plenty of photos and journaling. Down here, another one of the chipboards that says grateful. And then two more of the cut aparts. Hello, Autumn. Not cut aparts, I'm sorry. Four by six journaling cards. And be thankful. They just tuck right inside there. Then that flaps over. And then that flaps over. Everything gets put away nicely, and that is my folio. So, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking a look. If you like it, give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And by the way, we are speaking of subscribers, I'm very close to a thousand subscribers, so I'm probably going to do a giveaway. I just have to decide what I want the giveaway to be. If you have any suggestions, um, what you'd like to see for a giveaway, please leave me a comment. Um, and again, if you'd like to make one of these or both of these for yourself, the tutorials are on my YouTube channel. This one would be listed under the I Love Gymnastics or I'm a Gymnast or something to that effect. And then this one would be um, My America the Beautiful. So, you know, all the measurements, everything you need, the step-by-step -step instructions are there. Um, you can just... Um, decorate it with your own paper collection. So thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I will be back very soon. Um, I believe my next design team kit will be coming from Country Craft Creations. So can't wait to get started on designing something. So thank you very much. Have a re good rest of your e weekend and I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks. Bye.